welcome to cook to nourish today i have brought for you a very delicious recipe that many of you um, i'm sure will like and enjoy uh, in fact a couple of you have um, you know asked me on my social media to post an aip brownie because i had posted earlier a recipe for paleo brownies which were not aip which had um, almond butter uh, so uh, you know, thanks for motivating me. A special thanks to Emo L Ellis. I hope I'm saying that name right. Uh, she was the one who really pressed me to, you know, please make an AIP brownie. Uh, and and finally, I decided to um, do a couple tries. And actually, I was uh, pretty lucky. Got successful uh, uh, pretty fast. And these brownies are absolutely fabulous. Um, they use um, sweet potato in it. Um, and um, I use regular sweet potato with, um, you know, the yellow fleshed ones. Um, and I have um, boiled them beforehand. I Generally what I do is I use the instant pot and on a week, weekly basis, I just batch cook sweet potatoes, you know, at least uh, five to six sweet potatoes so that I can use throughout the week. So I always have, you know, a boiled sweet potato in hand. Uh, if you did not, you know, for this recipe, you definitely need one. So you need to um, cook it completely. So this is completely soft. So either you can do it on the stove top or use the instant pot. I pressure cook it for like 10 minutes and that's pretty good and it gets you know fully done. So then you peel it and mash it and we use it for our recipe. Along with this, we um, I also use shredded coconut uh, is used in this recipe. Now I you know used uh, or tried to make this recipe using coconut because I am sensitive to almonds and um, you know, so that's why I wanted to avoid nuts and uh, do this and also, you know, because I wanted to do an AIP recipe. However, there are uh, some people I know who cannot tolerate coconut even. So for those people, what I would suggest is if they're still AIP and who cannot do the eggs and the almond, uh, you know, almond butter brownie recipe, they can use this recipe by substituting the shredded coconut with um, some kind of chopped nuts. You could either do chopped almonds or chopped cashew nuts, whatever works for you. But make sure you you know chop it, and you're ultimately going to blend it. But um, you know just so that it blends faster, I would recommend you chop it and measure it um, as a chopped as a substitution for the uh, coconut shredded coconut and i really love the you know the texture of this um uh, of this brownie because it's really you know kind of a perfect balance between soft and a little bit firm and fudgy and um, if you're okay with um, you know a dairy free um, chocolate chips um, then you can you know feel free to add them I do not add anything um, to these and they are still absolutely delicious however I do recommend doing the frosting and the frosting is a very quick frosting I do recommend doing that frosting because that's what makes it additionally delicious especially because I don't add a lot of sweetener to the base recipe uh, so that's why you know the balance when you add the frosting it it's it's perfect and it's not too sweet now for whatever reason if you don't want to do the frosting then i recommend you increase the quantity of uh, maple syrup and add a little more than what i am recommending so that your brownies taste sweet as is all right so let's get started all right so we're starting with um one cup of mashed sweet potato and uh, then I'm using one cup of shredded coconut. Now here I'm using shredded coconut flakes, but um, you could also use just shredded coconut. And uh, measuring about one cup here. This so it goes into the blender. Next I have in you know, about one fourth cup of that's one fourth cup of cassava flour, and I'm going to add a little bit more that's about a couple tablespoon more so that's a one and two so that's two tablespoon more of uh, cassava flour and next i'm going to add the cocoa or carob powder actually that i have one fourth cup plus two tablespoon 
one and a half teaspoon of baking soda and one fourth teaspoon of sea salt so i'm going to add all that into the blender as well uh, this is a fairly easy recipe when you just dump everything into the blender next is vanilla extract one teaspoon and now i have melted some coconut oil in a cup and i'm going to measure one fourth cup of that so that's one fourth cup of melted coconut oil so i'm going to add that as well and um, lastly we need uh, i'm sorry we need actually one fourth cup of maple syrup so now i'm not measuring exactly one fourth because i like my brownies to be a little less sweet but i would recommend using one fourth cup of maple syrup for this recipe and one more thing we need and that is water so i have one fourth cup of warm water i like to use warm water because you know then it kind of is easy to blend everything well that's it so now you just uh, blend it for a couple minutes until it all comes together and the shredded coconut is um, you know blended well and there are not like big chunks of coconut you can see it's like you know it's okay to have tiny bits of the shredded coconut because they will you know be like nuts in your brownie so i'm dumping everything into this brownie pan uh, lined it with parchment paper and uh, as you can see the mixture is pretty thick and uh, but don't worry about it see how i'm like you just spread it using a spatula um, and you know although it's pretty thick it's that's fine you just slowly spread it and this goes into the oven for at 325 for 20 minutes next With the frosting you in a saucepan take one fourth cup of carob uh, three tablespoon of coconut oil and one tablespoon of raw honey with a pinch of sea salt and just melt it and then pour it onto the brownie place in refrigerator for one hour to set and now i've taken them out and cut them into squares and see how decadent these look these are absolutely delicious hope you try this recipe and you like it Thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, please like and subscribe to Cook to Nourish. Thank you.